Ephemeral Retold, written and narrated by Christina Chang. Spots on. Ladybug retransformed after feeding Tiki, knowing she would get home faster if she could use her yo-yo. She was about to leave when a sudden rattling sound came from behind her. Quickly, she turned and threw her yo-yo in the direction of the sound, which was coming from a large garbage can. She was about to pull it over to see what was inside, when the lid popped off all on its own to reveal a very tall, very angry monk. Master Suhan? Ladybug asked, staring quizzically at the can he had just emerged from. Without a word, Suhan took her by the arm and with surprising strength hoisted her up onto a nearby rooftop and abruptly set her down, then turned to stand disapprovingly over her. You are supposed to be the wise guardian of the miraculous. What was the meaning of that extravagant display of ineptitude? A single blow from Cat Noir's cataclysm would have destroyed that golden coverage and immediately made it easier to defeat the villain inside. Ladybug crossed her arms defensively. Of course I know that, but Cat Noir wasn't there, so I had to do what I could. Well, where was he then? Ladybug looked down. I don't know, but I am sure he would have been there if he could. Master Suhan scoffed impatiently. Nonsense. All guardians know the whereabouts of their entrusted holders, at least in a general sense. Tell me where he's likely to be so I can go look into this myself. Ladybug shrugged her shoulders. How am I supposed to know? It's not like I follow him around all day, and besides, it would risk finding out his identity. Master Suhan looked at her in shock. You mean you still don't know his identity? The Black Cat Miraculous is out there in the hands of some stranger that you have no way of contacting outside of your hero devices? Cat Noir is not a stranger, Ladybug exclaimed, her face lined with protest. I trust him with my life, and I know he is very careful with his Miraculous. Suhan glared back at her. Do you know where he lives? Do you know how to contact him in cases of emergencies? Do you know which civilian must protect at all costs to ensure the Miraculous does not fall into the wrong hands? Ladybug lowered her eyes, and Suan shook his head in disbelief. Never has there been a guardian who did not know the identities of the Miraculous holders. Such knowledge is necessary to ensure the security of the jewels and the protection of their holders. Since you do not yet know his identity, you must tell him to reveal it to you tonight. Such affairs should be dealt with immediately and are of the utmost importance. As the guardian, it is your responsibility to know who this cat noir is. Ladybug crossed her arms again, unconvinced. Well, as far as I know, the Guardian never had to be Ladybug before, and Master Fu is very insistent that we keep our identities hidden from each other. If we knew each other's identities, we might reveal them by accident. Or worse, what if Shadow Moth manages to akumatize one of us? Then we lead him straight to the other holder, and he would end up with both Miraculouses and all the power in the universe. She pushed aside the thought of a broken moon that had reappeared in one of her recent nightmares, and stared resolutely into the irritated face of the ancient Master. Suan tucked his arms behind his back. Unlikely. Neither of you have been akumatized before, and it is entirely possible to resist such attacks. It is far more dangerous to be unable to contact and protect your partner's civilian identity. I don't know why Fu made up such a rule in the first place. While it was common practice to maintain a level of secrecy, most holders soon learned of each other's identities and became all the stronger for it. Ladybug glanced away, her mind beginning to see the truth in what he was saying. While it was worrying to think that she or Cat Noir might fall victim to Shadow Moth's influence and betray the other, they would end up fighting either way, and besides, there was a chance of resisting such an akumatization, so they would never have to come to that. It would make things much simpler if they were able to communicate with and cover for each other, the way she did with Alia. Suhan frowned impatiently. It's simple. If you want to remain the guardian and allow the Black Cat Miraculous to remain in the custody of its current holder, then you must find out his identity. Is that clear? Ladybug clenched her fists, but nodded in understanding. Good. He turned abruptly and leapt away into the darkness below. Ladybug didn't bother looking after him, and instead pulled out her bug phone, her fingers trembling slightly as she messaged Cat Noir to meet her on the Eiffel Tower. Ladybug stared absently into the clear night sky, her hands resting calmly on the tower guardrail, but inside, she could feel her heart beating rapidly. Was this really the right thing to do? What would Cat Noir think when she asked him to reveal his identity to her? And would things change between them after she knew? <laughs>